Welcome to this video tutorial on the topic of the design phase. In this video, we will guide you through the most common tools and processes in the design phase, as well as the functions of the system menu. In the design phase, we not only have a side panel, but also a step menu, which is currently minimized. To display the full view, we tap the two parallel lines at the end of the step menu. Now we can access the steps, restoration parameters, adjust morphology, positioning, and edit restoration, the step we are currently in. These steps are optional, therefore they already have green check marks. The different positions of our restorations are displayed to the left of them. These include the single restorations, as well as a bridge restoration. A further restoration can be found behind the label plus one. In the Restoration Parameters step, you can adjust the parameters of the currently selected restoration. These are the local restoration parameters, not the global ones, which are found in the System menu. This means that customized parameters from this step will not be saved permanently, and the CEREC software will apply the new settings only to the current restoration. After minimizing our step menu again, we take a look at the functions that have already been activated in the side panel. You can determine the position of the different windows individually and change them at any time. On the left of the screen, we have positioned the Display Objects window. With these functions, you can display and hide not only the upper and lower jaw, but also the minimal thickness, the restoration, and the model base. Below that, we find the Link Options window. By placing a check mark here, you can group several restorations and edit them simultaneously. The analysis tools are placed at the right margin. Here you find the functions that display or hide restoration and model contacts, for example. There are additional options which are not displayed right now. Slice lets you perform a cut through the restoration, as well as the model at screen level. Cursor Details lets you display the height and thickness of the restoration. The Grid Mode, which is specifically suitable for the modification of anterior teeth, is also one of these options. The window has to be expanded to the full view to display the functions mentioned. The window above containing the tools is also still minimized. We will expand this to full view. Now all tools that are available for the active restoration are displayed. The Form tool allows you to add, smooth, and remove materials. The Move function allows you to position, rotate, and scale the restoration. Using the Shape tool, parts of the morphology can be pre-selected and modified either anatomically or circularly. Below this, the option to recalculate the active restoration is located. Biogeneric variation allows you to create different morphologies. Finally, there is the Adjust Contacts tool, which we will look at later in this tutorial. For demonstration purposes, we disable the 3D model of the lower jaw, turn the model to an occlusal view, and click the Adjust Contacts tool. We switch to one of our single tooth restorations and reduce the visibility of the upper jaw so that we will have a better view of our partial crown. The Adjust Contacts tool offers three options. By tapping one of the three buttons, distal, occlusal, or mesial, the respective contact area is corrected by the CEREC software based on the restoration parameters. Since our model is displayed in a mesial view, we first select the option Mesial. We switch once again to the restoration next to it and apply the same tool. Then we reset the visibility of the model to 100% and, for demonstration purposes, disable our restoration contacts and then our model contacts. Hiding the contacts makes it easier to assess the morphology of the restorations. Before we finish, we go to the functions in the system menu. 
we tap the icon at the upper left so that the system menu opens. In this phase, among other things, you can save or export your current case. You will find detailed information about export options in our video tutorial on the topic of Export Options with Ceric Software 5. Additionally, you can open the Serona Connect portal or the Connect Chat, or you can switch to Configuration. After the final modification of the restoration, you can move to the last phase, the Manufacture phase, by tapping the forward arrow at the bottom or the corresponding tab in the Phase bar. Thank you very much for your attention. We would like to wish you every success when working with Serec.